Hello, Junkaholics. So today is not going to be your traditional scrapping video, but I'm going to be doing a um, video on making this 12 ton press into a 20 ton air over hydraulic press. I don't know if you watched the last video where I bought a new air over hydraulic uh, jack from Harbor Freight. Um, but this is the reason I did it is so it's just easier to operate more force and this truly needs an upgrade. So this hydraulic press is from Princess Auto, but your Harbor Freight ones are gonna be the same. Pretty well, any hydraulic press is the same kind of idea. You got a gantry, you know, place press gains. It's, they're all basically the same. So the first thing we're gonna do is just measure this. And this one is, see, we're gonna, it's like 11 inches. So I'm gonna cut two blocks at 12 inches and I'll show you why in a minute. Yeah, two blocks at 12 inches is gonna work fine. So let's cut those. So I'm just going to use old wood. It doesn't have to be that great. Block at 12 inches. Square that line up. And then here, move this out of the way. Just move the camera. again. So what I'm going to do now is just put the box there for a sec. Just pump this up. Okay, then we're going to and you see this is what I'm trying to avoid is all this cranking. There we go, we got one block in, put the other block in. Then we're going to undo the pressure. Okay. Now, I'm going to just try and get this pump to release some pressure. Mm. 
There we go. Now this one's gonna come right out. Maybe not yet. Gonna need a little bit more. Now it will. Now that one is out. Now all I do is I put this one in. Line it up. <coughs> I'm going to screw the top of this into the cup. Okay. Now, I'm just going to unwrap this hose so we don't have any issues. Just want to make sure that the cent the jack is centered with this pin and is with that so I think we're doing pretty good here now I'm going to take that handle I'm just going to pump it up by hand for right now make sure it's seated in there Blocks come out. As you can see, it's going down. Now, I'll release that pressure. And it's installed. I'm going to leave these springs in as well as these just to make it a bit better. Now you have two ways of doing things. I wonder if I have any sleep C clamps handy. Because you can C clamp this there. Or what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drill a hole, one here. And uh, that one's a, and one there, which will probably avoid the warranty of the jack. <coughs> but I'm not planning on bringing it back for any reason, so. So that's all there is to installing that. Now, I'm probably gonna pick up a couple C-clamps, small C-clamps, just to, you know, tie this in. Eventually, whenever I'm near Princess Auto, I'll just pick up a couple small ones, just to uh, make sure it doesn't take a dive, but it won't. Um, there's a lot of, there's some pressure in there, so there's no reason for it to take off. But you know, I know some of the YouTubers are gonna get all crazy if I don't do things safely. So I'm just going to hook up the power and the air and we'll get this thing pumping here. So I've hooked up the air and uh, all I did was put it on that hose and we're going to see if this works. Hopefully no one gets injured or killed in this demonstration. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Is to tighten the valve. If anybody has any ideas what I can use for a knob instead of this stupid pole, that would be awesome. So 
So let's try this again. I'm gonna step to one side. tracks properly tighten that back up so what we have here is a, a, a rotor or an armature out of an alternator from the ghost junkyard if you watch the uh, other episode of where I'm tearing these apart, then I'll put a link in the description and uh, the end card. And right above you right now, I'll put a link so you can see what we did there. And that was with the 12 ton bottle jack that was totally by hand. Um, like I say, we had to lubricate that one. Uh, put the deep creep to it because the 12 ton just wasn't doing the job. So let's try this. if we reach the end let's try this and I think we just busted the brand new air over hydraulic jack Okay, so that's still working. So I'll have to look into what maybe went wrong and we'll have to get back to you. If you like this video, make sure to like, share. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Well, I got in touch with Harbor Freight and it's definitely the air motor that let go in that thing. And so I asked them if I could mail back to them, they could mail me a new one. And they said they don't ship internationally, that I would have to bring it in by person. So I've got 90 days to bring it back, which I will be. 
And I've already ordered a new one. I've ordered a Vivor 20 ton air over hydraulic. I should have it next week. So we'll continue this next week. Have a great day and thanks for watching.